hey y'all, so you've gotten all your Christmas decorations out, you're ready to start putting up your lights, and the fear every year, you start plugging in all of your lights, and sure enough, you're finding some of your strands, either half of them aren't working and half of them are, or the entire strand is out. So hopefully in this video, I'm gonna be able to enlighten you and show you a really fast way to figure out which bulb is bad and needs to be replaced in order to start getting them all working again. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's go. All right, so as you can see here, my beginning half of my strand is not working and the end half is working. And a lot of people might be wondering, well, if the beginning is not working, then how is electricity powering the lights at the end of the strand? So let's start off with showing how these Christmas strands kind of work. So of course you've got your plug, but you've got these two prongs here and they are not polarized. Whereas most of your plugs that you put in the outlets, one is larger, which is usually the neutral, and then your line or hot side, the, that prong is usually smaller. With these Christmas lights, most of them, you can put them into the outlet upside down like this. It does not matter which way you put them in, they'll still light them up. And that's why when we open up this fuse compartment, there's two fuses, one for each side. So depending on which way it is put into the plug, one side is gonna be hot and one side is gonna be neutral. So you've got your two wires coming out of the plug, which is very normal. And then we get to the first light. And now all of a sudden we have three wires. Well, if you notice of the two wires coming from the plug, one does not go into this light. One of the wires goes into the socket and then we have two coming out of the bottom of the socket. This is a junction. And so this is why when half the strand is out, the other strand can still be working because one of these wires that's coming out of the bottom of this light does not connect into this light. It just goes on to the beginning of the second half of the strand. You have two sets of lights essentially hooked up to one strand so that they're kind of on their own circuits on the strand. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug these lights in. All right, so we're back to half not working and half working. And the tool I'm gonna to be using is this non-contact voltage tester. And the way that these things work is as the name implies, they're able to detect voltage without actually touching the exposed portions of wire where your voltage is exposed. It's actually able to just touch, whether it's light bulbs or wiring itself, it can detect whether or not there's voltage running through it. So they're actually tools that are good for safety as well. All right, so since it's the first half of my strand that's not working, not the second half, what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that I'm getting power to this first bulb, this first socket where this junction is, to make sure that as long as I've got power going into this socket, that tells me that as long as this bulb is good, that power should continue on, on down the string. So what I wanna do is I wanna turn on my voltage tester and this green light is showing us that there's no voltage being detected. If it was showing up red, that's letting us know that there is at least on this one, 70 volts being detected. So what I wanna do first with this first light is I wanna separate out this wire that's not running into the bottom of the light here. If this plug was plugged in correctly, this should be a neutral wire, so there should be no power going to it, and we should have power running up this wire and into the bottom. But just to make sure that the plug is inserted correctly, I'm gonna go ahead and test, and I have no power, which means that the power is on that bottom wire that I separated out. So we would not be able to test this because there would be no electricity going to it. So then what I need to do is I need to unplug the plug and plug it back in in the opposite direction. By doing this, it's gonna reverse which one of these two wires coming out of the plug the power is being run down. So I'm gonna separate out the light again, and now I'm gonna test, and now I've got power there, whereas down here, now this wire is neutral, there's no power running through it. So now I can continue on with testing this half of the strand because now I know there should be power going through the rest of this half. Now most people are gonna start at the beginning, which is what you would usually do if you were pulling the light bulbs out and plugging them in to see which one was bad. I actually want to go to the middle of my strand and hopefully cut down on the amount of lights that I'm going to need to test. If I go to the middle of the strand, so I'm just gonna pick here for instance, and I'm gonna to check to see if this bulb has power going to it, so we have power there all the way here in the middle of the strand, which tells me that everything before that bulb 
is good and doesn't need to be replaced. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find about the middle of where I just tested and then the end of this half. So I'm gonna start with this red one here and there's power. So since I've already eliminated a lot of the lights, now I'm just gonna go one by one just testing them to see if we've got power going to them. And so we've reached our first one that doesn't have power going to it. So that may mean that this ball back here, even though I got electricity down here at the base, what you can also do is you can test the bulb itself. And there is no power up here on this bulb. The one before it, I can get power up on the bulb. So that's leading me to believe that this is probably the bad bulb but I can isolate it out with my hand and I can test each side of this. So this is the incoming, there's power, this is the outgoing. So there's no power. So there is a disconnect at this bulb. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out this bulb and then put in a new bulb. And there you go. Now the entire strand is working again. So a lot of people might be wondering whether or not this will work on LED strands as well, as that's what a lot of people have. I've got a strand here where half of it's out again, and the other half is working. So it's pretty much the exact same steps. I've already got it pretty much narrowed down here to where it's at. And I put my tester down into the bottom of the socket, and sure enough, I've got power there. So I'm just going to move on to the next one, separate it from the rest of the wires, put it up into the bottom, I've got power there. Going on to the next one, same thing into the bottom, no power. So what this tells me is since I have no power going into the bottom of this socket, it's probably this bulb here. Now LED bulbs typically don't blow out like the traditional ones with the filament in them. That's one of the reasons why so many people are buying them is they tend to last a lot longer. So a lot of times it's not the actual bulb that's failed, but a lot of times on the base of these, you'll see you've got your connection here. Then on the other side, there's no wire there, it's broken off. And I've actually found this to be the case with a lot of my LED strands. It's not really the bulb that's gone bad, it's just lost its wiring in order to, it's got the connection here, but it doesn't have on the other side to then send the power on down the line. So all it takes is getting a new bulb that's got the wiring on both sides to be able to make that connection. Then we just put it down into the socket and then there you go, the entire strand is working again. So hopefully this video was able to brighten your day and you were able to get all those lights up and working again quickly. If this video was helpful for you, please let me know by giving the video a thumbs up. And of course, if you have any questions at all still, you can leave those down in the comment section. And if you like videos like I did here today and you haven't done so already, consider hitting that red subscribe button. And I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. See ya.